It's a summer's outfit, all right. Getting tired, Madge? Not in the least bit, Dad. Well, we'll be over the flat soon. From an end of Tondo. Uh, Chuck ready? Almost. <laughs> Calvin said wipe them out. Well, what's holding us? Come on. Looks like a raid, men. Spread out. Take the cover, Madge. Looks like a raid, Duke. Sure does. Well, let's lend a hand. We can't run a chance of being recognized. Let's get out of here. Come on. It's all right, miss. We're... we're friends. Call me in to 
Well, it's always calm as eat before the storm. What'll it be? <laughs> oh, give me a shot of mule kick. All right. Job's done, Calmus. The outfit's wiped out just like you ordered. Nice work, Red. That old fool Summers had taken a warning he could have avoided all this. Now with that freight hauling franchise, we're in line to make some fancy money, and we can run this community just as we see fit. Oh, by the way, did you run into anyone that might have recognized you? Not a soul. I think that calls for a drink on me. <laughs> Set them up, Judge. The boys are kind of dry. Helmus, I ask you not to use my place here for your headquarters. It's liable to get people to thinking things. Just what, for instance? Well, the uh, freight hauling franchise. You don't need to worry about that, Judge. It's all settled now. I know, but just the same, if anything should happen to Summers, they might suspect you. Or something. And if we appear too friendly, you know. Summer's wagon just pulled into town. What? Who was driving it? He's a stranger to me. You told me you wrecked the whole outfit. Yeah. Why, we did. I wouldn't lie to you, Calmus. Let's have a look. I think you need some rest, Miss Summers. Thanks. You've been very kind to me, Mr. I don't even know your name. Well, my name is Tex Archer. This is Duke Evans, my pal. Thanks, Mr. Archer. You see, I'm almost frantic. Dad put everything he owns into that freight line. It must make two trips a week to hold the franchise. And the first one is tomorrow. Don't you worry. We'll get a wagon over that line for you tomorrow. Somehow. You've been fine to me. Hey, there's a summer's out there. Yeah, it looks like they had trouble. Old man Summers and his men are dead. Here, yeah. what's happened here? The Summers outfit was raided. Yes, old man Summers and his boys are in there, dead. I gotta find out about this. How to be Summers? Trouble? These are my friends, Texan, Duke Evans. Pleased to meet you, gents. Marshal Tinker, Dad and I were waylaid at Rock Pass, and Dad was. Fatally shot. Have you any idea who did it? No, and if it hadn't been for these two men, I don't know what I'd have done. Well, I'm sorry about this, Miss Summers. Uh, Duke, uh, take Miss Summers home. What you gonna do about it, Marshal? There ain't nothing I can do till I go out and investigate. Well, it'll be too late but then. Can't you gather up a posse? I'll be glad to lead you. Posses is hard to get in this country. It costs the township too much money. Besides, around here, a man is supposed to kind of tend to his own business. If you get what I mean. Bill, go notify the coroner. All right, Marshal. I think I'll step down the street and see Judge Dean about this matter. Judge Dean? Who is he? Uh, he's our local judge. Also runs the Owl Saloon. This prisoner's trial comes up in front of him in a few minutes. The judge at the same time. See you later, young fella. Well, 
We sure got into something. Now they're... What do you figure it is? What's a drive out? Plain as day. Somebody wants this franchise. Yeah, and we're right in the middle of it. And we're staying in the middle of it. What's your next move, Tex? Let's go down to Judge Dean's saloon. I think I saw the gang go in there that raided Summer's outfit. Say, that is something. Let's have a squ The Honorable Judge Roy Dean presides. <clears throat> What's the charge, Marshal? Your Honor, before you hear this case, the summer's raid today... Yes, I heard he was shot. What about it? Well, the young fellow that brought him in wanted me to get a posse. Said he'd lead us and get us out there pronto. But I thought it'd be cheaper and quicker if I'd go out and make the investigation alone. Mm hmm, well now... Maybe you're right, Marshal. Of course he's right, Judge. The Marshal should investigate first to see if he can pick up any clues. Hmm. Very well, as soon as I dispose of this case, you can get it going, Tinker. State the charge against the prisoner. Fighting in a card game, Judge. How much money involved? I... Uh... I didn't speak to you. Keep the mouth shut. Twenty-eight dollars, Your Honor. Hmm. Did he win it or did he lose it? I... I told you to be silent. I'm running this court. He won the $28, Your Honor. Hmm, now then you may speak. Were you in the poker game as charged? Answer me, yes or no. Yes. Well, I find the prisoner guilty as charged and will sentence him according to the cost he has brought upon this court. Now let's fill that up, let me see. Homemade justice, say you. One night in jail. That's one dollar. Uh, court session, six dollars. Uh, judge's fee, ten dollars. Uh, material and uh, overhead, one dollar. And it's a grand total of uh, eighteen dollars. Very well, I shall. I'm the prisoner, $18, which is the cost. It ain't right. I ain't guilty. He didn't get a chance to talk. Very well, I'll find you $10 more for contempt of court. And one day in jail, making a grand total of $28. Do you do it, Marshal? Mm. Hello, boys. Hiya, Judge. Welcome to the Owl and Tonto. Strangers here, I reckon. Yeah, first time. Well, I sure hope you... Uh, pardon me, my friend. Oh. <laughs> what are you gonna do about those two fellows? Don't worry. I'll take care of them right now. Howdy, men. I do, sir. Kinda good to see new faces around here once in a while. Join me in some refreshments? Uh, some other time, thanks. Uh, we just dropped in to ask the judge here a few questions uh, regarding that summer's trouble today. Oh, that? Yes, sir. Well, that's just one of those things that happen when rival freight lines get to bucking one another. If I was you, I'd forget all about it. Don't tie in there at all. By the way, what brings you to Tonto? Well, uh, we're, we're looking for work. Uh, done some entertaining in our times, and folks say not bad. Uh, I'm considered the best mandolin picker in Arizona. And Tex here, he hits mighty few sour notes on the vocal cords. Oh, wait a minute, you... Well, that's fine. I'm sure that Judge Dean here can use a couple of extra entertainers. Can't you, Judge? Huh? What? Oh, <laughs> y y yes, of course. That's a good idea. 25 and grub found. You can start tonight. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bargain. We'll take it. I'm sure you'll find this the most pleasant work around, Tonto. Well, I hope so. Well, gentlemen, what's your pleasure? <laughs>
There's nothing to fear from those two manger mice. This job will keep them pretty busy. And when Madge Summers can't get a driver tomorrow, she'll lose that franchise. Things look pretty good, boy. Order in the court! I mean, uh, let's have quiet. Quiet! I take great pleasure in introducing to you a couple of new entertainers. I don't know how good they are, but I guess we'll soon find out. I was just thinking, there's something funny about those two. Did it occur to you that they might have pulled the summer's job today? No, it didn't. Oh, I don't think. You know, they work this kind of a game sometimes. Connect themselves in a split and find out everything is going on. And they know just when and where to strike. It'd be a good idea to keep your eyes open. I certainly will. Good dollars, sir. Buy a fifteen dollar neck, then I'll get myself a job punching cattle. And a donkey on the end of a rope I'll drag. I'm a natural born cowboy, I feel it in my bones. I know I can rope a donkey or ride a strawberry road. Oh, I'm in love with a cute gal over yonder. And making love, and everyone's very bold. Though her eyes are crossed, her legs are bold, I wonder if I'm really going to love her when she's old. I'm a natural born cowboy, you can tell from the way I walk. I can dot four eyes with a six gun, then you can dot with chalk. Oh, I tried to whip a guy the other morning. I'm telling you, we sure would have had a fight. But his fist flew out without a bit of warning. When I woke up, I found that it was night. I'm a natural born cowboy, you can tell it by my clothes. All I need is bow legs and a sunburn on my nose. Oh, my father's rifle never had a chance to rest. At the sight of an Indian, he'd go mad. Everyone he'd meet was sure to bite the dust. I'm going to be just like my dear old dad. Well, Duke, it's about time I turned in. I don't think I'll have to lullaby you to sleep tonight. Uh, I'm so tired I can go to sleep standing up. Where do we bunk? Let's find out. My partner here is kind of dead on his feet. Now just where do we bed down for the night? Well, Red, show the boys up to their room. And pleasant dreams. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Follow me. Well, 
gentlemen. Here you are. Good night. Good night. I hope you don't walk in your sleep. No, we just have nightmares. Oh, boy, is that bed going to feel good to me. <laughs> well, it ain't going to feel good to you long, because we got work to do. Work? What do you mean? You know that Miss Summers has got to make the run tomorrow to hold that franchise, don't you? Yeah. All right, then. We're picking up the wagon and heading for Placer City to bring back that freight. You mean we ain't gonna sleep? Not tonight, you. Come on. Fella Tex is making the run for Summers. He's heading for Tonto now. I'll fix those two mockingbirds. You take the boys and head that wagon off. It mustn't make the run, you understand? This time, do a good job of it. Right. Come on. One of them. Well, we sure got them two hombres. When them horses stop running, there won't be anything left of wagon or freight. Here comes Joe now. Let's head for town. He'll follow us. <laughs> we didn't have any trouble. Where do you want the freight unloaded? Right on the platform, Tex. That boy's got nerve. I've got an order to move five ton in our next haul, but I'm afraid I can't take it. We're having the wagons. You take the order. We'll get the wagons. Well, I plugged him right in the back. And if they ever find that freight wagon, it won't be worth 30 cents. Hey, what kept you? What kept me? After that hound took my horse, I started to walk home and here I am. Took your horse? Yes, they're down the street now unloading the wagon. Well, you're crazy. 
Go and look. You wouldn't double cross me, would you, Red? Well, you know I wouldn't count. I was sure we got him. Listen, I'll get him in here, and this time I'll handle him. I think I've got the goods on this raiding business. If you men will back me up to the marshal. It'll have to wait, son. I saw the marshal ride out of town early this morning. Uh, pardon me. If somebody wants to see you over in the saloon. Uh, he seemed in kind of a hurry. All right. I'll be back in a minute. Judge. Young fella, I hired you to work here. Not to try to cover all the jobs in town. You left me in a nice fix today, and you hurt my trade. Sorry, Judge, but I had a little private business to attend to. That's your trouble, fella. You're meddling in the wrong business. What do you mean? I mean you're playing both ends from the middle. And you can't do it around here. This place ain't big enough for you and me. So you better get rolling. And suppose I don't get rolling? You will. Well, I got you figured right. You're yellow! <laughs> on your tracks. And don't reach for your guns, boys, because I don't miss often. All right, Tex. When he wakes up, you might tell him that I'm still not rolling.
that you're riding by my side as the evening stars are peeping out along the Milky Way. The twilight shades are creeping, we love yesterday. Through the stardust softly falling, I urge my horse along. And it seems I hear you calling while I sing my lonesome song. As the desert dawn is breaking and the sun comes shining through, the old home trail I am taking. It's the trail. Well, I'm glad I was able to take your mind off your worries for a while. But I still can't forget the fact that I'm going to lose the franchise unless I move the freight that's piling up at Placer City. Well, I can't see what they hope to gain by driving you out. Freight franchise doesn't seem to be that important. Oh, but it is. Whoever holds that franchise controls the whole valley. Well, why is that? Because unless fair prices are maintained by the freight line, the ranchers and merchants will have to sell out. So you see, the freight line means everything. Oh, I see. I started something and I'm going to finish it. Tonight. The sun will never rise on that, Umbry. Red, he's beaten you at every turn. Now this is your last chance. You fail to stop him this time and... I don't be too hasty, Calms. I'm going now. Get him. There. Red won't fail this time. I'm afraid for you, Tex. By helping me, you've put yourself in danger. Wouldn't it be better if you'd go away? Not a chance. I'm in, and I'm going to stay. And besides, uh, we've got five wagons of freight to haul tomorrow. And you'll need some sleep. <laughs> well, good night. What, 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 what? Come on, Duke. Let's get to bed. You mean we can really go to sleep? You guessed it. Come on. Come on. I got a hunch we're being followed. I know we are, Duke. You wait outside. I'll lead him in here and maybe I can trap him. I reckon I'll be hitting the hay, Thomas. Good night. Good night. I hope you have a nice long rest. Thanks.
This man stand over him with a gun in his hand. I'm glad you're here, Judge. I want this man arrested for murder. And as a citizen, I demand that he be tried at once. His kind are dangerous to the good people of this town. All right, Marshal, do your duty. Arrest him. Take your guns, boys. Now then, conceal yourself under arrest. Don't seem all right to me. They're not saying that you're allowed to get fined for court. Wait a minute. I guess this is as good a time as any to hold this trial. Especially if the man is guilty, the sooner we find it out, the better. And I want it understood that he's to have a fair and square trial. Now then, if everyone will be seated, I endeavor to pick out a fair jury. Seated, please. it's strictly understood there shall be no drinking while this court is in session. Sex Archer, you won't deny that you're a stranger in town. That you came here under suspicious circumstances. Now one man has been killed and his business destroyed and you happen to be close at hand when this occurred. And further, you can't deny that misrepresenting yourself, you took employment here at the Owl Saloon in order to use this respectable establishment as a headquarters for your fiendish crimes. And further, I charge that it was you who killed George Summers and destroyed his wagons in an attempt to get personal control of the freight line. But Red Holman learned of your schemes and tried to drive you out of town. But you trailed and tricked him into that upper room and murdered him. That's all. He's good, ain't he? We have listened to both sides of the case, and the evidence as produced points conclusively to the fact that the prisoner is guilty charged. What do you think, jury? Don't we, men? Yeah. yeah. I don't suppose you have anything to say, or you'd have been talking before this. Get down there, you. And make it pronto. <laughs> this bozo ain't dead. He just merely got careless and shot himself in the arm. And uh, he's gonna tell you something, uh, ain't you? I'll tell plenty. Yeah. And he's got plenty to tell. It'll open up your eyes. May I question this man, Judge? Well, it ain't exactly in order. 
Besides, he ain't been sworn. Well, Judge, you, you swear him. Get away. Hold up your right hand. Try to tell the truth and nothing about the truth to help you? I do. Well, this is the funniest case I ever tried. We've already found a man guilty of murdering the man who is now his witness. I don't know what's going to happen next. Red, who's responsible for the murder of Dad Summers? I'll tell you. It was... for killings. Hex Archer, we will hold you for further investigation as to the killing of old man Summers. Marshal, do your duty. Lock him up. Well, Duke, I'm sorry I got you into this. The judge insisted that you was my accomplice. Well, whatever that is, it makes me sick. Well, cheer up, cheer up. What you need is some cowboy medicine. Hey, do you know what I tell the folks down in my hometown of Nederland, Texas, when they get the feeling blue? No, what? Hello there, everybody. I say hello. Anybody gonna take your medicine behind bars? Don't worry. We'll find some way to get out of here. I reckon that'll be all right, Zeke. Hey, Archer. Yes, sir. There's some men here to see you. I'll give you just a few minutes. I gotta get over to see the judge. Listen, Tex. We want you to know that we believe in your innocence. We're outnumbered here and can't do you much good. So we just dropped in to see if there's some suggestion you'd make that might help. Well, uh, why are you willing to help me? Because you're helping us fight the freight gang. And if they win, we might as well go out of business because we 
We can't meet their prices. And you're the first man that's come into this country with the courage to stand up and fight them. And we're all for you. Well, that's fine, fine. Uh, are you gentlemen acquainted with all of the, uh, the outlying ranch owners? Oh, yes, yeah, sure, sure. Well, my idea will take men and wagons. Well, we can provide them. Well, yes. that's fine, fine. Now, I'll tell you what I'd like for you to do. I've got our wagons ready to pick up that freight. Now, the summer's line is done, and that franchise is as good as ours as soon as we get rid of these two guys in jail. Good word. Don't worry about them. We'll get them. I know we'll get them. I'll attend to that right now. Hey, you. Get me a bullet. I've got an idea. Bullet? What good's a bullet without a gun? I'll show you. What are you going to do? Go fishing? Yeah. But not for fish. Didn't he? Sure. He's dangerous, I tell you. Let's rush the jail and get him. You're right, Cal. Yeah. Let's get him. Not one of us, even though he is in jail. He's a convicted murderer. And right at this minute, maybe out gunning for us. I say, let's go down and get him. Hold on, Calvin. You're a going too far. You can't take the law into your own hands like this. The judge is right. He ain't been legally sentenced. Step aside, Judge. We can't waste time talking. This fellow's a desperate criminal. I'm beginning to see into your little game, Calmus. Looks to me like you're mighty anxious to get this fellow out of the way. Hey, Duke. I caught my fish. Well, don't lose him and we'll get out of here. Hurry up, Chet, before that old buzzard gets back. Now what? We'll go out the back way. Get on our horses and head for Placer City as fast as we can. Come. Appears like Calmus is behind all this trouble we've been having. Yes. Come on, man. Come on, man. Well, why don't you do something? I don't appear to have much influence with him. <laughs> Wait a minute, men. The jail door's open. Hey, they're gone, men. They're gone. I got a figure of the place. Everything's ready, Archer. Well, that's good. Let's go, man. Summer's wagons are coming this way, and they'll be at the pass in an hour. I knew he got away for no good. Boys, if that load of freight gets through, we lose everything we've been working for. Come on, we're going to stop him.
Farmer's outfit! Turn those wagons and let's take them! I knew the first time I saw you, you'd be tough to beat. You win. Oh, oh, oh. 